Jessica James, and we're here with an artist who just performed and did an amazing job, Tony Tig. Hey, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm excited to be here. Okay, so I, I kind of have diarrhea in the mouth right now. Is I can't, Tony Tig, that's like, like Tony the Tiger? Yeah, I, um, so <laughs> cliche. Is that your nickname? Well, it's Tony the Tiger, but take the the out in the ER the Tiger. That's now, like Tony is Tiger. that your real name? That's not my real name. It's That's not, not my your real name. I can't it's give out my name. Can't give out my government. Oh my! You want Social Security too? Secret, secret, <laughs> no fun. Well, you just performed. Did you ever get nervous when you get up there? Are you excited? You didn't see my heart pounding out of my shirt. No. Um, no, you hide it very well. No, yeah, I've been doing this for a while, but I mean, it's I still get butterflies until I hit the stage, then it's like home. Right. How long have you been doing this for? Um, I've been doing it seriously for about eight years. Eight years? This is your 10? You don't look a year over 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, how old are you? I, I just had a, a birthday on the 19th of February. How I just turned 29. Happy birthday! 29? Yes. Wow. So wow. Last year before I hit 30. Right? They were gonna go backwards. Right. Now, do you have a family? I do have a family. That's how I made it here. Yeah. Um, to Earth. No. Um, <laughs> Come on. No, no, no. I, no, I'm, um, I'm a single dad. I have a three-year-old. She'll be three in March. Wow. What's her name? I know. Her name is Asia Janae. And how is that being a musician and being a father? Um, it's a, it's a lot of work. It's um, it definitely um. I have a lot more material. Into music. What was the um, the spark that got you interested in writing and rapping and all that kind of stuff? Um, for me, I've been uh, since I can remember. Probably since I was about five. My mom and my dad they come from a music background. You know, my dad, his uh, his dad and his dad were drummers, and they played for like you know various artists back in you know back in the day. And my mom. Any artists that we would know? Um, I'll tell you a funny story about how my great grandfather had the opportunity to play with Duke Ellington. Oh, really? Wait, wait, but he passed it up. No! <laughs> because he wasn't famous at the time. Oh, so he oh of course, right. Right, so he was like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and pass it. But, well, that's you know. a story there to tell, you know. Exactly. Um, so that's what got you into music. Yeah, just being around, I think it's in my, it's in my uh, DNA. Yeah. yeah, couldn't have said it better myself. Um, now, what made you choose hip hop and R&B and rap music? Um, well, one thing about I, I love about hip hop is that I wrote a lot of poetry. Yes. And so when you write a lot of poetry, um, it kind of puts, you know, it kind of comes together when you get a beat with it, you know. And so with hip hop, it's so it's so rhythmic, right. you know, with the drums, and then you have the different sounds. So you put that poetry with it. And for me, that's what was key, you know, because I wasn't. I didn't really think that, oh, I could rap, or I just right. thought that maybe if I did it this way, then okay, it'll get a pick up. And it just naturally evolved. Right? You know, I ran into a guy the other day, and he was listening to my album, and he had told me, man, he said, you like, you know, it's like when Blake Griffin hit the league, you know, no one ever saw him coming, you know, because he was on the Clippers, but once everybody saw him and they saw what he could do, couldn't nobody see know turn away from and everybody had to watch him because he was just that good and that impressive and he said the same thing and you know it was so humbling for you know someone to tell me that but that's what keeps me you know grinding because I feel like man you can't stop because you always gonna reach somebody and you know the people that you reach you know they might be the ones that change the world from what they heard from you you know and that's how I want to be you know, word of mouth is still the biggest thing going. You know, word of mouth will always be the biggest thing forever. And, um, you know, I'm just blessed. No matter what, I'm blessed.